We might as well just start there then, since, uh, whatever. Okay. That's a lot of G. <laughs> okay, so last time that we were playing, we, um, got done the colleague, and I was... So, uh, in case you didn't know, the amount that you actually buy from Temi reduces the amount of money that, uh, that the armor costs. From, like, I think four nines to where it is now. And since I'd already, um... I wonder if it does that. Okay. At this point, we don't really need to do anything else with our armor set. And all we really need to do is just get the, uh... Is... Uh, we could either get the... We could either use the frying pan for our weapon so it has higher... You donned the Temi armor. Alright. Uh, increases... Invulnerability. Yeah, we could... Stay with the book, since we don't really need it. But I... I still think that... I still think either the frying pan, because of its passive about, like, making food, uh, heal you for more, is effective. But yeah, the Temi spelled wrong armor. Uh, things that you could do with college education. Raises attack when one. Recovers HP every other turn. Invulnerability up slightly. Like... This is actually, like, every cool thing that you would want about armor in one item. And, to be honest, it's... It's fairly useful. Especially when you're trying to do one of the harder runs in the game. You know, unfortunately... Uh, unfortunately, completely uh, unable to be avoided is the fact that, at the end of the day... Uh... Okay, so I might as well explain this now. In the... In the third loop, you can't get this armor. Uh, Temi will actively, like, not sell it to you. So, this armor that's incredibly powerful would be good against the... the would be good against, um, the final boss of that loop, but it's not available. But, if you actually, like, if you hack in the armor against it, uh, I, if I remember correctly, there is a caveat with the, uh, Hello, Temmy. Boy, I'm Temmy. I can't believe that it took us, like, an hour to find a single Temmy, like, in the wild, and... She's just here. Ah, I love RNG. I think I'm gonna keep the, uh, the sleeping dog. Uh, the sleeping dog border for this run. Because I kind of like it. I'm probably gonna switch to the, uh... The sepia one. Uh, afterwards. Hmm. It's actually so dark, I can't actually, uh... actually see anything. Because I said last time that I should be able to? Why are all these Temmies, like, showing up? 
Is it because I'm wearing the Temi armor that, like, they're showing up in bigger numbers? Temi forgot her other attack. Thanks, Temi. Okay, I just had to lean forward to, uh, to figure out where it was. Okay, so just like last time, we have to uh, traverse this. Gonna mute myself for a bit because I'm eating a bit of uh, instant mashed potatoes. Okay. Hi, oh, hey, welcome back. Um, so yeah, uh, not sure if you were here for it. I finally got that Temi armor. There it is. Um, I mostly got it just to get it because... Okay, so this is the part that's going to have new stuff, finally. Yeah. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before, but, um, y you're human, right? Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, uh, to stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. Yo, say something so mean that I can hate you? Please? Yo, what? I, I, I have to do it. Okay, here goes nothing. Yo, I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. Man, I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Yo, yo wait! Help, I tripped. Yo, dude, if if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. I guess being enemies was a nice thought, huh? Haha. <laughs> uh, well, I'll... I guess we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Yeah. It really felt bad to, uh, to abandon him on the first loop. That, that did not feel good at all. Seven human souls, and King Asworth will become a god. Six. That's how many we've collected thus far. Understand? Though your seventh and final soul... Uh, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it, why should I tell you that? Oh my gosh, we gotta turn the... 
point back down to negative 20. There we go. You. You're standing the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Also, the history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swords women. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding beneath that kid's, um, behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two sh shoes stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stand between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. The wind is howling with determination. So, the previous time I did not show this entire fight. There's actually a lot more to this fight than, uh, than I showed. I heard one that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Old skip faster. So if I remember correctly, the way that this works is that she's more likely to throw the spear the more you challenge her. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne bounces impatiently. Now sunlight's just within our reach. Ah, missed one. Undyne suplexes a huge boulder, just because she can. Bullets will get faster. Enough warming up. There we go. Points heroically towards the sky. So undying her attacks are too easy. Okay, so this is the attack pattern I don't think I ever showed off. There we go. Bullets get unfair. <laughs> she doesn't care. I was holding the controller sideways, that's my fault. Being so damn resilient. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. You've escaped from me for the last time. Said something about Alphas, but I for but I skipped through the dialogue a little bit too fast. See now what she meant by that. Smells like sushi. Bolts get unfair. I'm determined too. Determined to end this right now.
holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Right now, towers threateningly. Everybody, you little brat. Don't slow me down. The perspective uh, shift right there always, uh, always trips me up. Stop running away. What's up? I was just thinking you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Come back, you little punk. I still like the her looking over to Sans like I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> Armor so hot, but I can't give up. Give one down the water. Okay. Cell phone. Papyrus. Hmm. Mysterious science house. The science house is lab. Lab? Like, laboratory. Labradory. Does that mean there are dogs inside? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. I was thirsty, so I came from Waterfall to get something to drink. A water cooler in Hotland? That's weird. Shouldn't it be a fire cooler instead? I thought you didn't like puns, Papyrus. Oh, you're in Hotland now. Hey, Sans, aren't you supposed to be here? Don't worry, I am. Whew. I don't know why I love that so much, where it's just like... Hey, isn't this where I called you? I have a photographic memory for photo calls. Phone calls. Hey, when are we gonna hang out... When are we gonna hang out with Thundine? Don't worry, I'm already walking my way back. No response from here. That's under dramatic crag. She's always posing on top of it. Mumbling something to herself. This is where Elder Puzzler likes to stand. Block pushing, key gathering, tedious agony. It's important to respect our roots. But today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah. There's no art in that action-y, mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You still got hope. Yeah, here. 
Try solving this block pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation really is hopeless. Then how how am I supposed to push the rock if it we're not pushing the rock? What Each area ha has to have a precarious bridge. It's mandated by the government. Of course, King Fluffy Boy wants to mandate it unmandated safer. Why? Won't he think of the children? Echo flowers. There's only one talking flower for me. Hmm, corridor filled with water. That's just a guess? I have nothing else to say. Lanterns? Uh, okay, can you eat them? I'm seriously out of ideas here. Mushrooms? Can you eat them? Are you sure you can't eat them? Yeah, I'm like all the way out here. Like, I can't even reach them. Oh, wait, no, those are trees. Maybe they're just like really tall stalked mushrooms that just happen to look like glowing trees. Yeah, unironically, I kind of like mushrooms, but it's an acquired taste. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood for it, though. What do you mean there's no response? I want to hear Papyrus' take on Temi Vill Village. Uh, mushrooms on pizza are pretty nice. Yeah. Like, they're a good substitute for, uh... For sausage, if you're if you're in the type of mood for like a, a sausage but not meat. What's that strange whisper? Uh, I might have to hang up. Ham and mushroom. I don't think I've had that one before. All right, that's Toriel's number. You see a shop, you should stop, drop, and roll into some great deals because we're having a fire sale at my imaginary store which sells flames. Right. So I want to see if this works. So there's Papyrus right there. That's Undyne's house. You know. Oh my gosh, he is talking! I can actually see his lips moving. <laughs> you know, the one with the skeleton in front. That's Sundine's house. You know, the one with the skeleton in front. Oh ho, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for an extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? 
Still waiting outside our house? Yeah, I, I do that sometimes too. Here, Undyne, my friend bought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks? I'll just uh, put it with the others. Sorry, where the start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humili humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really, how delightful I accept. It's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I'd never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne would be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus... Wait a second. Uh, darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're gonna be besties. And I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of everyone else. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Humans suck, but their history kind of rules? Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? I'm technically, yeah? Huh, I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured it all figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Okay, one time, Alphys's uh, friend came over. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Oh, you want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Maybe some nerds. Looks like the bone drawer. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Silverware in this drawer has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food, so Office fixes me um, fix up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, world's greatest invention. Honestly, a uh, a device that basically ambiently keeps food like. Uh, warm is kind of nice that isn't just leaving your oven on on low and just leaving the food inside of there, you know? I forgot I had my uh, cup of hot chocolate sitting over here. Sit down and progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. She then lays out all of this stuff that was just in her hot fridge. Which is weird because there's boxes of tea and soda. All set, what would you like? 
Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Oh, uh, why not point to what you want? You can use the spear. Are you... Are you hitting on me? No, I'm just moving sequentially down the, uh... Sword! Acquired taste! <laughs> Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of my swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No. Tea box Blatantly correct choice. That's sugar for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs to prelude to destruction? Is that it? Not really. That's why I thought. Oh, soda? Uh, actually, even though you pointed to it, uh, you don't look happy. That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. Rots your mind. Rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, 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 I, I, I just remembered uh, that container is empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore keeps marshmallow um keeps getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. And this is why I made some hot chocolate for myself. Since she wouldn't make anything for me. Tea, huh? Coming right up. She leaves the soda on the stove for some strange reason. I'll, I'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. Okay, it's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's actively burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Evans on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worst, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and then from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But... he was beaming. I, I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Well, anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um... To be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. Uh, he's just, well, 
I mean, it's not that he's weak, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, you know, too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle, he'd just get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And he, if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. I love the gingerly picked up rotated 90 degrees. <laughs> okay, let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now. Pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? You punch the vegetables with full force. You knock over a tomato. Also, she's adding two tomatoes, a carrot, and a banana into the sauce. I am already terrified of this recipe. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. I will just scrape this into the bowl later, but for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Huh. You just put them in the. Uh, you just put them in the pot. How you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah, yeah, I'm into it. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder! 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 Ah, uh, let me do it. <laughs> that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. <laughs> I like I'm just rotating it. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter! Wait, that's too... I like I was just rotating in a circle. If, if you would have actually done that, you would have rotated it so hard it would turn off and then it would go back to low. Ah, uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, and I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now, come on. Keep me with all you got. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. No, show me what you got. Undyne. This time, don't hold anything back. You pretend to swing with Undyne with all your might.
What? That That's the best you can manage? Even attacking me at full force, you can't even muster any intent to hurt me? Huh. Hey, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. First, I hid your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you could persuade him to let you go home. Eventually. Some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take his soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I will take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now, get, uh, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess? In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. If you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? So through in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see you later, punk. Sounds like only Fire lives here now. Yeah, the phone... The phone has now shifted from Papyrus to Papyrus and Undyne. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to... Uh... Uh... uh yeah, that's... That's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowie. Undyne, someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. Unironically, I think that might be one of my favorite phone calls because it's like, you could do that instantly and she's already over there. Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey, we should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love when a plan comes together. So yeah, as you can see, like... Uh, hello. Um... Hey, I'm just going through um, Undertale right now. I'm doing a lot of the uh, the phone call dialogues right now. And we should hang out with Papyrus. Really? Can we? Naps, Naps the Blook's house. They kind of keep to them uh, their self. Uh, that's a that's a good ghost. Uh, I try to be a good neighbor, but I think they're scared of me. Come on, what's scary about a good-natured invite to wrestle? Uh, oh, you're hanging out with Napstablook. That's great. Uh, I haven't seen them hanging out with anyone since, well, uh, their cousin. Uh, they would both watch TV at all hours of the day. When they would practice these weird performances, where'd they go? Door locked. Napsbook's family used to run this farm, but they've all passed on to different jobs since there's not much business here. Them and their cousin used to stay behind to run the family farm, but no one's seen their cousin for a long time. Now Napsbook's all alone. Be nice to them, okay? It's like kind of neat that we get some like additional like lore now that we've talked to Undyne a little bit. The garbage dump? So many great things come down here. The only reason we have modern technology is because of all the human junk that flows on the surface. Plus, it's a great place to meet girls. Uh, what else is... That's where I first met, uh, where I met Alphys for the first time. I was looking for cool swords when I saw her. 
uh, standing there, staring into the abyss. She looked pretty, um, contemplative. So I asked her where she thought the abyss led to. She looked up at me, shocked, and went red in the face. But I'm scary, so I'm used to that kind of stuff. Then she kept explaining all of her different theories. She went on for hours. I was so captivated. After that, I kept running into her. And now we're friends. Yeehaw! Those flowers. When did they just start to grow there? I swear, it's like they have a mind of their own. You know, I've always kind of... Oh, hey, Washua, how you doing? I've always wondered why there was actually a uh, flower bed over here. I cleaned off all the garbage to rearrange it into symmetrical piles. It's hard work, but somebody has to do it. Okay. Um... Yeah, that sounds nice. That bird will carry anyone across the gap. It never says no. When I was younger, it gave me a lift. It, it took an hour. But this bird never once thought of giving up. Cherish this bird. I wish you could just I isolate the uh, the text box of Cherish this bird. What well, are you cherishing? Cherish harder. Hey, here's a neat party trick. Try talking to the southern wall. First you have to throw a party though. Hey, uh, you should have a cost you should make a costume party, then Popyrus can have some place that's that seems normal. So you know what's interesting? I'm trying to remember where it is. I'm trying to remember where the bench is, because I I distinctly remember that I did not encounter it on the first loop. So, this might actually be one of the times I have to actually look up. Right, okay. That's my bad. This is way earlier. There's normally a pair of old shoes in that seagrass. Strangely, they're made for someone without fins or claws. Some kind of monster. What kind of monster is like that? Oh, wait. What an absolute. Um, what about a slime monster? Wait, those don't have feet at all. Onion? For some reason... Uh, did you hear? Uh, you're back. Uh, I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band. Oh yeah, I already read this piece of dialogue. Oh yeah, Sharon lives around here. I used to give her piano lessons. She was really talented for someone with no fingers. One day she stopped coming to her lessons though.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made this puzzle. Really? It was just an excuse to put a piano here? I love fighting the ivories. Huh? Did you solve the puzzle? No one has ever... I've been waiting for so long for some to... I mean, uh, a big deal, whatever. Guess I've got to find a new mystic artifact. <laughs> no, that's fair. I actually don't think I've ever heard someone bring up the fact that, uh... That that puzzle was actually, like, from... Undyne. Hey, you figured out how to get the music to play? Nice, isn't it? Those umbrellas were Asgore's idea. He says that he doesn't want anyone to catch a cold. Waterfall's underwater citizens couldn't care less, though. What? You're at my favorite spot. And you better jump in at least a thousand puddles for me. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I kind of want to go through and, like, look at all of the uh, phone dialogue. Because, like, a lot of this I just hadn't seen. Like, even though I've been seeing some stuff about this game for years, like, there's a lot that I don't know. Off the top of my head, at least. This whole area is like a little nature trail. It seems to have a rainy spot away from civilization. Though, with this city filling up, who knows how long that'll last. Asgore Castle. I guess there's no stopping it, huh? It's a really... Unironically, that's a pretty interesting line. Considering that the only way to get that line is if you came back here after you already fought Asgore. Oh, hey, Aaron. Uh, uh, I'm scared, Winky Face. Ghosts aren't real, right, Winky Face? But they are real. Oh, no, Winky Face. The trail dead ends here, unless you could jump. Honestly, I can't believe I expected you to go this way. What was I thinking? Uh... How I was right? Okay, let's head back now. So I have a really bad problem with that crossing my legs under me when I uh, when I sit down on stuff. I mean, it's really nice for like uh, bouncing a keyboard on my lap, but like after a while, my legs kind of get locked up. I'm like, man, this was a bad idea. Why do I do this? Yeah, I think uh, Undyne would have had like a. Uh, a different set of dialogue if you hadn't done the puzzle yet. Which is kind of interesting. I, I kind of want to see what that piece of dialogue was later. Yeah, I have a, I have a really bad uh, problem with doing that. Oh, did you hear? Uh, I've got nothing else to talk about. It's okay, Engine. Just stay how you are. Don't worry about it. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I think... I think I may have mentioned this, but... One of the... No, I didn't. I was talking to someone on Discord about this. The reason why Undertale is such a great series to write in the universe of Undertale is actually because of a very simple thing, which is that at the end of the day, these characters are so well put together that you could transplant them into different 
settings and scenarios, and you can make a fully realized character out of them. It's one of the best things about character-driven stories like this. Oh. Uh, ice cream? Sugary cold? Talk about gross. Now, this chili pink stuff that Alphys makes me, that rules. Where are all these tables coming from, by the way? If it wasn't for that grass, I would have kicked your, uh... Not for that... If not for that Grudy, I would have kicked your booty. Nice. Along these walls line our tragic history. Tragically boring? Why can't their history be cool animations like the humans? At least, someone at least engrave a plaque of swords and kissing. Every day, people come here and wish up to the stars. I won't let them down. I'll make everyone's wishes come true. I wish I had eight legs, so I could wear four pairs of hot pants. I'll make most people's wishes come true. Like, stuff like that really makes me just smile at this whole game. Alphys helps measure, um, helped measure out the mud tops for this puzzle. It was a lot of work, but we got to make sandcastles after. We're a good team. She's great at building them. And I'm great at wrecking them. Okay. So I believe the answer to this mystery... is to line four up right along the edge of this of this river down here. There we go. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? The quiche was left all alone. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Got the abandoned quiche. Heals 34 HP. Psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. For some reason, I had actually never... Huh. I'd actually never gotten the, uh, the bench quiche before. It's an interesting little item. That I've seen several theories about, that, uh... Since Sans was the one trying to make a, uh... A quiche... In, uh, Papyrus's, like, uh, hangout session... That it's alluded to the fact that he is the one that couldn't deal with the responsibility. And I'm like... Maybe... I don't know, that sounds really interesting, though, conceptually. Wait, did you actually do the puzzle? You can't just jump across. You can't do the jumpity jumpity doodle. What are you talking about, Undyne? The limpty lopty leap? Okay, you can stop now. This is the room where I first spotted you. You have no idea how many spirits I wanted to throw. But, um, that seagrass is under scientific protection. 
Yeah, sure. Sure, that's the answer for why uh, you couldn't immediately kill us right there. God, I was supposed to build a puzzle for this room. I hate puzzles, so I just put a huge pile of rocks upstream. So you found the room behind the waterfall. And I feel like relaxing hours take a break here. That means never. I hate relaxing. As from a family of workaholics, I completely understand that point of view. This is Papyrus's brother's station. Now, I always catch him slacking off or sleeping, but his results are just good enough to not fire him. Well, except today. He didn't tell me anything about you. If you're going to Stone, I won't have much to say, but I will. There's the rep, right? What? There's a rub? Where? In Stone. Duh. Yeah, this is the best room for snow wrestling. Snow wrestling is when she sneaks up on you from behind and tackles you when and yells snow wrestling. It's not the best game. Well, you know what I think? What? Snow wrestling! No! Uh, again, I love the phone conversations. They're, they have so much character to them. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Hey, punk, what's up? A chew. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in grillbees instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Stone, how about Papyrus? That's the slogan, right? Yeah, I wonder if, uh... Uh, it doesn't look like it's, uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's time for the, uh... For the fight yet. I'll... I'll come back after, um... After I'm done with Hotland. Get enough books when I was, um couldn't get enough books when I was a kid. I tore through them all sorts though. I ripped through tons of them. I kicked them into shreds. Oh wait, I do kind of want to check to see if uh, she has something interesting to say while in San, while in Papyrus's room. We're just gonna be his dialogue again. Nope. person throws ice all day. No one knows where it goes. Hey, I know. Alphys told me. It goes to Hotland to cool down the core. Wow. Undyne, I didn't even know you like nerdy stuff. Just strength and fighting. Are, are you kidding? Why wouldn't I? The brain's the biggest muscle of them all. Grillbees? Well, we're too refined for that grease hole. Whoa, if you go, you'll you have to try the cheese fries. They're amazingly bad for you. Oh, sorry, Papyrus. Uh, were you saying something? Just monologuing about my love for grease. What if I ran for mayor? I don't think I would do a good job. And I hate responsibility, but I love politics, so it might be perfect match. That 
that lady over there has been going for a walk for a while. But she hasn't moved an inch since where she was standing. Well, I haven't either, but I don't want her to notice me over here. Huh? Yeah, I'm taking my bunny for a walk. It's just a very slow one. I actually forget that a lot of dialogue does change depending on which bosses you fought. Hey, I always stay there when I come to Snow. I used to stay at Papyrus's, but his couch is like lumpy and jangly, and his brother kept making a um, hundreds of midnight snacks. Yeah, just sleep here. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be too many more pieces of dialogue since here, but... I, I completely forgot to actually uh, call them up in the quiche room. The, the bench quiche room. What's better than a bench full of quiche? Okay, that was useful. I didn't hear what Papyrus had to say about this room, but like, that's because I forgot where that room even was, which is fair. It's a, it's a very hidden <clears throat> off area. Oh, hey, it's Washwa again. Everything's so dirty. If I could erase everything, I would. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I don't want everyone to die. People turn to dust when they die. And that's hard to clean up. Washua literally saying, I want everyone to die. <laughs> but it's too much of a hassle to clean up. I like the idea that if you just don't have any gold, it's impossible to, uh... Uh... To travel that way. <laughs> I just realized that I totally could have taken the, uh... I totally could have taken the, uh, the ferry back instead of just walked physically. Ah, it goes by so fast. I'm already out of hot chocolate. Sorry if you could hear that, my throat's really loud and I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> like, 
I swallowed, look at the waveform, I'm like, ugh. I think what may have happened is that, like, as a kid, I think my throat got, like, crushed or something. And ever since then, like, I, uh, like, a lot of weird stuff with my throat started happening. Hey, that's the store of Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. The toughest monster that ever lived. He fought in the war between humans and monsters. And he survived. He's a real hero. That river connects Snowden and Hotland. If you need to get from one place to another, jump in. Look, that's all we've got for a public transport, okay? Field of Echo Flowers. They bobble back and forth to each other, until their words become meaningless noise. Creepy, huh? I do kind of like the idea that it's like, uh, they both, like, they bounce off of each other until they, like, diminish and turn into basically, like, whispery white noise, effectively. It's kind of neat. Once you get familiar with this room, you don't even need to light up the mushrooms. I mean, the path to Timmy Village is never lit up up here, so why would you want to go there? <laughs> I like how that is... That and the river person are the only, like, hints as to where Temi Village is. It's actually kind of neat. Because, like, Undyne does tell you, like, a lot of, uh... Hints about stuff in... Waterfall that you just wouldn't have found otherwise. Uh, of course, there's no response. Okay, we're almost back up to where we were. I don't think... I don't think Undyne has any, like, extra text about, like, anything in Snowden, because I... I think she even said that, like, she doesn't do much out there anyway, so it would be pointless to ask her about anything out there. But I will double-check after, uh, after the stream is over, because I can just pull up the, uh, the text dump to see if, uh, there's stuff out there. Let's get familiar with this boom, you don't even need to light the lanterns. Yeah. That's where I first talked to you. Weren't you super terrified? I practice that monologue all the time in the mirror. Undyne? I mean, uh, no I don't. Oh, I was just going to ask, do you want to practice monologues together? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> You know, there's just something so great about that. Yeah. Just slightly tur turn my um turn the gain on my uh microphone down a little bit so when I get a little bit louder it uh, doesn't immediately just like uh freak out the uh the waveforms. Fields of flowers whispering nobody's um everyone's hopes and dreams. It fills me with power. This room. That sure was a tense scenario. I just want to help that poor kid. I thought if I tried, you would attack me. Thankfully, you ended up saving them. I don't think... Uh... I don't think she'll go on the date with you, um, she'll have the hangout moment, if you don't save Monster Kid. I think she even, like, mentions that it's like, oh, so you showed your true colors with that kid. And made it so that, like, you can't go on, you can't hang out with her now. 
Elder Puzzler. Oh yeah, I had um something. Yeah, someone else has to care, so I don't have to. But Undyne, don't you like tradition? I've worked in uh, worked in an office pushing blocks for a month. My respect for block puzzles has depleted my corporate life. My corporate life. Wait, you threw away my life dream? Wait, you threw away my dream life? The life of a simple salaryman? Commuting every day on a train full of spikes? I won't tell him that's not how it works. <gasps> oh my god, wasn't this room just the best? Like, when I decided not to to do that boring monologue and then I went totally off the cuff or when I almost killed you with spears or when I almost killed you with more spears ah oh, man I should have taken photos Look at how cute a little scrapbook would make now I want a scrapbook of my fight too let's start a photo company for boss fights one week later simple glass uh, sample glossaries in the mail we live the memories where I was chasing you. But you got a phone call, so I had the wait. Oh, that was me. What? What were you even calling about? I was just saying that we should all hang out. As I was trying to kill them? Well, nobody starts as great friends. That's so great. I can't believe Papyrus' brother was sleeping. I was counting on him to stop you. He's gotten really out of shape. He tires too. He tires easily now. Lately, he's been napping over seven hours a night. He's napping himself into an early grave. I agree. Your brother needs to... Wait. Isn't that just called sleeping? I'm dying. No, not you too. <laughs> No, the difference between taking a seven-hour nap and a, uh... The difference between taking a seven-hour nap and sleeping is that a seven-hour nap is completely conscious. Thank God for that water cooler, huh? Uh, actually, you could thank Alphys. She puts uh, it there just for me. Now, I uh, take a drink on the way to her lab, though usually I'm not wearing 100 pounds of armor. What? Royal guards are blocking the way. Then I'll told them to... Well, well, nothing, I guess. I already told them to seek out and destroy you. I can't just tell them I've changed my mind. You see, uh, Alphys showed me these animations about, uh, humans so I could learn their weaknesses? Uh, one of them was about this human that, uh, well, suffice to say, they can control people's minds. Uh, surprised? I, I, I know your kind's hidden power. Anyway, I told my crew that if I ever def um, defended a human, I must be under some kind of mind control. And to disregard everything that I had to tell them. So, sorry, but my hands are tied. By the way, that animation is really good. I agree, I also like Code, code Kiosk Toby. <laughs> I like how I could instantly tell. Hey, you should come visit... Um, come to Snowden to visit me. No way. Come to Snowden to visit me. What? We're in the same location. Wrong. I'm standing slightly to the right. Uh, like, you could definitely tell a lot of the, uh, the stuff around Kissy, um, Kissy Cutie M Mew Moo Moo? M Mew Mew. Like, is talking about seasons one and two of uh, code Geass. It's really funny. <laughs> no, her power is that she uses mind control. It backfires on her because she can't control it, and it just comes back onto, well, she needed to learn the power of friendship. A.K.A. she, um, Lelouch needed to trust people more. And that's the entire crux of season two, is that he doesn't think he can actually trust anyone until it happens.
I, I know it was based on Tokyo Mew Mew. It, it was like, I... The I plot kn- is Tokyo Mew Mew all about. That's why it's Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. I don't think it's purely based off of that. I know that its name is at least based off of that. But, like, a lot of context clues tell me it's Code, uh, code Geass. It's really funny, though. <laughs> There's strange interference. Huh. I don't think I've ever actually seen this piece of dialogue. That's actually rather interesting for a uh, for later context. Okay, we got to go through this again. Oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and um... Um... Hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys, uh, Asgore's Royal Scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Uh, actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, uh, been observing your journey through my console, uh, your fights, your friendships, everything. I was really gonna stop you, but watching someone on the stream really makes you root for them. So, uh, I wanna help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. Okay, I believe this is all the same dialogue from from the first loop, and so we just have to wait until... Okay, so today is quiz show. Everyone give a big hand to our wonderful contestant. Never played before Gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule, answer correctly. Or you die. Start with an easy one. It's the prize for answering correctly. Sounds like you get it. Here's a terrific prize. It's the king's full name. Doctor Friendship is a great. It's a great one though. What about you? Let's talk about me. What are robots made out of? Too easy for you, huh? Another easy one for you. I believe all the spots of all these questions are in fact randomized, so you do have to kind of check uh, Alphys during the uh, during the trick questions. See which one it is. Play a memory game. What monster is this? Dang it, I wasn't paying attention. Would you smooch a ghost? Great answer, I love it. So I said that we were gonna come back to that question later and we're gonna talk about it in a bit, but we have to actually like wait until the end of Hotland. Here's a simple one. How many lives were in Metaton? Of course that was easy for you. It's time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Kissy, uh, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. What's Mew Mew's favorite food? Helping the contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. So the first time through, I definitely should have said the human. 
But, uh... We already know it's Undyne. Also, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes and even writes stories for them. Having a, having a domestic life. Dr. Alp is helping you. This show has no dramatic tension. Can't go on like this, but... This was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something. Uh, that last question, uh, he, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Uh, wait. Uh, let me give you my phone number, and then maybe if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. Here, I've created it for you. You can do texting, items, it's even got a keychain. Okay. Your alpha's at the lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And, uh, tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything, and... Wait, no, don't, don't ask her any of that. What? You're in her room? Get out of there! Unless, um, she invited you. No way, that did not happen. Uh, dimensional box A. Gonna put the cloudy glasses there. And then in box B, I'm gonna put the residue, CT, and cinnamon bun, so I don't accidentally use them. Yeah, so I kind of like the idea that, like, the quote-unquote pink goop is actually this, uh... Is, like, a seaweed parfait. It's kind of a weird... It's kind of a weird thing to make. Take the pack of instant noodles, just in case. It's a free healing item, so why not? Alright, not that one. Uh... Hmm... Neither of us know anything about Hotland. So... Just... So we'll just have to combine our power. Zero plus zero is still zero. Yeah, but it's a big zero. I rode on a conveyor belt once. I learned pretty fast that they made make me sick. Did you hurl? Yeah, like 9,000 times. It was awesome. Okay, there we go, Vulcan. We've actually now run into a new creature that we can actually, like, start doing more golden golden names with. On the bright side, all we have to do is basically just... Ugh. It's a good thing I didn't actually hit her. Vulcan is making coffee in its crater. Mistakenly believes that the lava can heal people. I'll help healing magmas. Encourage. You told Vulcan it's doing a good job. Its attacks become extreme.
There we go. Get 40 gold from that. This is a long room. Steam vents? I think Alf has told me about those. The core cools off by releasing steam through those. At the same time, it doubles its transport. Pretty cool if you aren't wearing a dress. So I'm going to say something vaguely cursed, but you're going to have to just go along with it, okay? A Sundari plane, okay. Um, is it? No, don't. Don't activate that. Uh, Sundara plane. Uh, approach hit the green outline of the planes four times. So yeah, it's um, it's just the same way that we've been doing it. There's also a um a hidden condition that happens if we um cause her to turn her nose up really hard. She um she either backs up out of the room or instantly crashes and dies. I completely forget which one. <laughs> check. Uh, seems mean, but does it secretly like you? No way, why would I like you? So new plane looks over and turns up its nose. Yeah, it's human. Dang it. I was run away. Shakes his nose dismissively at you. Look it off at the corner. There's no response. Okay. There we go, there's the frying pan. The metal box A, throw the torn notebook into there. Uh actually yeah, let me just grab the dog residue again and just shove that into box A as well. To just kind of like fill that one hole. I do know that you could sell some of the items, but it just has never felt right to sell any of the um, equipable items. It just feels wrong. I might also go and grab the second glove, because technically it's a pair of gloves. And so reuniting the two gloves might also, like helpful. Pyrope bounds towards you. I believe this is the same one of uh, of heat up twice. Yeah, so the same thing that you would do with the uh, you would do normally. There we go. 45 gold from that. I was calling hung up before you could answer it. Orange and blue lasers, huh? Just keep in mind what the colors mean. Blue means jump. An orange means you'll smell like oranges. That's what I remember. <laughs> uh, hi, so the blue lasers... Uh, I mean, uh, Alfie's here. Hi. Blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they uh, won't. Um, 
move through those ones. Uh, bye? Oh, I love that one. Uh, it's like... Uh, I haven't felt this nervous since Undyne randomly called me to ask about the weather. And then she goes, wait a second, we don't have weather down here, what the, what the heck? <laughs> Okay. So. Oh my god, I forgot to tell him where to go. No response. Dr. Alpha's here. Uh, the northern door will stay locked until you uh, solve the puzzle on the left and right. Motor work is blocked, so I had the time to catch Metaton show on my phone. Special effects were amazing today, the human almost looked real. Of course, an experienced viewer like me, you know, CGI when I see it. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no three dozen members. And it's not even counting me! Oh no, the puzzle's reactivating. Cause those people to miss their work? Yep, that's why I'm missing work too. Oh my god, Sans, go do your jobs. I love how the S is in parentheses, it's so good. Wow, solved it? I'm impressed. You should be a total nerd. Alpha's here. Uh, that blue laser seems totally impassable, but as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotline Laser database and take it out. Uh, those kids are skipping school? Well, I can't blame them. School sucks. We need to find some way to make it cooler. Hey, what if I visited their school? Then I could beat up all the teachers. I love that callback to uh, to Monster Kid talking about a uh, Undyne beating up all the teachers and the uh, in the travel under the umbrella. We were hang hanging out here when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They they gotta cancel school over this. Wait a second. Ah, it's summer vacation. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now we, now we're, now that we're free, we can. Um, I guess we'll just keep standing here. Nice try, but your loitering technique still needs work. got to meet Metaton. Really? Careful, that dude gives me bad vibes. What? He is so popular. I don't care um, about people just because they're popular. Well, you can say that because you're popular. Psh, what? Popular with who? You're popular with me? Aw, oh, Papyrus, you're popular with me too. Oh, wowie. Wait, does that mean that you don't care about me? Uh, I, I think, um... Hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh... Have you already solved them? 
Awesome! Thanks. It's kind of dark in there. Don't worry, I'll hack into this light system and brand it up. Yeah, I believe all the stuff with Metaton is completely the same, depending on if you're playing, um, whether or not you're playing a, uh, pacifist or, um, neutral route. So don't have to talk, uh, I don't have to talk about it too much, I can just kind of, like, like, run through it. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart! Milk, eggs in the fridge? Wait, they get cold. If you can still recognize your food after five minutes, we'll give you your money back. Great job. Just put them in the middle of this counter. Oh, hello. Great job. We got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs, and oh my, what a magnificent moment. How could I forget? I'm missing the most important ingredient. I love how I can't move out of this. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Uh, wait a second. Couldn't you make a substi- Yeah. Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan? Oh well, that's a brilliant idea, Office. Actually, I happen to have an opinion, um, have an option right here. MTG brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. Can of witches just over there on the counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you want to get the cannon, then you have to. If you can't get the cannon in the next one minute, we'll have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Oh, watch this. Eh, there's enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there. Okay, we just gotta do this. That reminds me, I was gonna pick up some marshmallows because I haven't like had marshmallows in a while, but eh? Like it, it's such a weird thing to be like, oh man, I missed marshmallows, and I'm like, actually, now that I think about it, I don't miss marshmallows. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just hit everything on the way down. <laughs> okay, I had 10 seconds to spare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seems you best to me, but only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think what would happen without her. Well, toodles. Oh, and yes, about the substitution. I've never seen a cooking show before. I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Wow, we, like, did it. Really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep moving forward. Okay, I figured.
Huh. Uh, I'm actually on my second loop, actually. There's, um... I'm trying to find certain pieces of dialogue that you could only get if the game remembers that you've actually played through it before. On the second loop, I am... I'm trying to get all of the, uh... the golden names in the credits right now. Which, honestly, is kind of fun. Uh, see that building in the distance? That's the core of all the source of all the power in the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by a... Well, anyway, that's where we're going to go. And the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle, and from there you can go home. Okay. Uh, I'm also, like, trying to get all of the phone dialogue, too, because... Since this is technically a second run of the game, I want to try to see some of the other stuff that you can't... that gets left out if you just do a normal playthrough the first time through. The elevator says R1. What does the R stand for? Come on, Papyrus, think about it. Hmm... It stands for red because that's the color of the lights. The elevator says L1, but what does the L stand for? Come on, Papyrus, think about it. Hmm. It stands for elevator, duh. That's Alpha's house? Hey, why don't we go over and watch anime? Anime? Isn't that a kind of cartoon for small children? Oh my god. Anime isn't just for kids. It's deep, it's emotional. Is the, the sound a baby makes an emotion? Yeah, because that's how I'm feeling right now. You know... Uh, well, it's because she's over here some of the times, so she remembers what they look like. But it is actually kind of funny that it's like, wait a second. It's like, it's not like I hold my phone up and, like, you could see through it. Wait, if Un... if Un Undyne... if the R stands for red, what color does the L stand for? Uh... light green? Oh, of course. Wait, isn't that two words? Light sea green? Three doesn't fix the issue. <laughs> Hello, Heat's Flames, man. I remembered your name. What? My brother's actually at a station? What? I thought he only had three stations. No, he has at least four? Who the heck keeps hiring this guy? I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird that the snow still on this guy's roof? Because it's just too lazy to clean it off. Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. He has a possibly dog. It's short for hot dog. Uh, throw the hot dog in there. Well, I'm actually have hot dogs. Here, you can have a hot cat instead. Oh, I love that one where it's a, uh, where it's a. Uh, isn't Sans supposed to be there? And then uh, Sans in the call is like, is like I am over there. And then, and then Papyrus like, oh okay. Post the picture. Cool, a uh, cool skeleton. There it is. Uh, 
Sundra plan attacks, not because it's jealous of Vulcan, uh, just be... Not because it, it's jealous Vulcan is paying attention to you. Give Vulcan um, a hug. It warms your heart and your whole body. Your defense dropped. Vulcan's cheeks glow with a bright heart. Don't get in my way. So, um, Sundara plane accidentally bumps you with his wing. Yeah, he has shortcuts everywhere. That's how. That's his answer. <laughs> Get uh, close to Sundara Plane. Ah, oh, come on! Tell Sundara Plane it has an impressive wingspan. Wingspan. Uh, I I is that true? Plane is looking away shyly. You tell Cinder Plane that it has cute winglets. Okay, here we go. Art Club, meet here next meeting October 10th. So, if you were keeping track, October 10th is actually when I started uh, this series. But I actually completely forgot that I had to... Uh, th that was the actual like time. If I remember correctly, it's... Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, it's... Uh, I say if I remember correctly, and then I instantly just type it in. <laughs> yeah. October 10th at um, some time during the day. Uh, yes, I actually can change uh, the time on my device, which I actually am planning on doing right now. Uh... Oh wait, I kind of actually need the save first. Apron lying on the ground, take it. Immediately gonna just store it. Uh, what is actually the closest save point? Is it actually like. Yeah, I guess it's left floor one. So let me just go there really quickly. There we go. Okay, let me just uh, quickly change the... Uh... The time on my device. Time and date, there we go. Uh, don't synchronize with the internet. Okay, there we go.
Oh, look at them. Uh, when you go on the Papyrus State, um, Sans moves up into the corner, and after you've gone on the uh, Undyne Date, now she's standing on top of his head. It's kind of neat. Okay, that should be good enough. Again, it should be at any time during uh, during day hours. So... I don't know, it still feels like that she's standing on his head. <laughs> Yeah, standing over my name. To be honest, it, it it is kind of funny that uh, it's kind of paralleling. What? Papyrus, where are you wearing those? Papyrus? Excuse me, I am the very cool online guy, Cool Skeleton ninety five. But no, you're Papyrus. Undyne. Shh. You're going to reveal my secret online persona. An apron lying in a hot land. That makes sense. Yeah, cooking is definitely fire elemental. Unless you cook a popsicle. Would you really call it cooking a popsicle? That's what you called it last time we, uh... Oh man, I almost forgot about that. What a mess. Our club. Next meeting, October 10th. I'm late. I'm late. I'm so sorry. So, this is one of the secret bosses of the game. Again, you can only really, like, fight it if you set the time properly on your, uh, clock. This creature is definitely in the wrong time and space. I'm so sorry how clumsy of me. I bumped into you. I'm such a klutz. Uh, I was just here to find something to draw and... Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I'll give you a gift to make up for your troubles. Okay, let me look at my vest. Yeah, so a lot of his attacks are based off of the, uh, the move don't move mechanic that is mostly Hotland. But the interesting part is that his hat... His hat is randomly generated. Uh, I think he has like five different hats that he can wear. Is it ten? Huh. It's based on the last inch of the year. Really? It's based off of the year? That's interesting. Um... Something. You weep. They're, um, they're a bit preoccupied. Uh, I couldn't find anything I want to give away. But wait, wait, I've got my notebook. I can draw you a picture in it. I am quite the artist, you know. I'll, I'll draw you a great picture. But... Smells furry. Probably wrong choice of words there. Sorry, the drawing didn't come out very well. Wait, I know the problem. I just have to find a better place, um, piece of paper for it. Oh, I forgot the... I forgot the paper stacks. Enemy uses a hypnotizing 3D tush wiggle attack. No, my papers are good enough to use. It's okay. I know what I can do. I use my magic pencil. It has to be under some of these papers somewhere. Oh my gosh. Let me try to copy your movement so it fits it. Oh yeah, I guess he doesn't have any attack or defense. Magic pencil is amazing. Everything I draw with it looks completely real. 
Oh no, it's a little two wheel. And we tap his fingers together like jackhammers. Uh. One half of the bicycle. Doodlebog and Doodlebog C? Uh, check it. Unknown attack and defense. Art, let's, um, let's your finest, fa uh, wildest fantasies come to life. The enemy looks a little perturbed. You draw a boat, and away it goes. Draw a boat, and away it goes. I've messed up. Oh no, I've messed up. I'll just use a regular pencil. I'll try my best. Are you ready? I just finished. Here's your picture, what do you think? It's a representation of your deepest essence. It's great, right? Do you think my art is terrible? Well, uh, I'll leave you with that thought. Goodbye. See you later. Sayonara. Nice knowing you. Hasta la vista. Mm. Uh, well, I should leave. Let's meet again someday. Okay, still nothing. Uh, yeah. Unironically, I think, as a secret boss, it's surprisingly hard if you, uh... Uh... Rare and threatening double Davies. I like how if you, um... I like how you could instantly run away from it every single time. For one, I want to save and then set my clock back to normal so I can do stuff later. Like, that's the only reason why I'm actually walking back down here. Okay. Just, uh... Fix the clock. Uh, date and time. Synchronize verse via the internet. Okay. Right to. You really like hot animals, don't you? Hey, I'm not judging. I'd be out of a job without folk like you. Uh, I think that's good enough for like uh, for the amount of f um, the amount of food that we could possibly need. There we go. What? You have to solve a puzzle on the conveyors. Oh man, did I ever tell you my conveyor puzzle idea? What is it? 
Imagine four basketball hoops on the side of a conveyor loop. The conveyor keeps speeding up until you get sick. Then you have to puke in all four hoops in a row. I hate this. You have to time the pukes. Uh, hi. Uh, Dr. Alpha is here. Uh, this puzzle is kind of timing based. Uh, you see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Hey, looks like you only need to press two of them. Don't worry, Alphys, I know you. I know you screwed up. <laughs> uh, hey, I I'm gonna go to the bathroom, so I'll be back in a bit. There we go. Okay, I was just making sure. For some reason, I it slipped my mind that uh, we had already picked up both the apron and the... Uh, and the pan. Okay. Did status zero stars? Oh wait, I never actually called um Propriers and Undive. One second. What how does this puzzle work? Uh whoops, I think it's Undive served the talk. What? No, I hate puzzles. Papyrus, you do it. Well, Alf has made the puzzle, right? You should just call her up and say in a hot voice, Alphys, I need help with the audible wink puzzle. Oh my god, no, shut up. Fine, give me her number. I'll do the hot voice. No, that's even worse. Where are all these tables coming from? Maybe they'll belong to the mouse. What would a mouse need a table for? To put the cheese on. But where's the cheese coming from? Does it come from milk? Oh my god, get out of here! Careful, rail guards patrol that area. I think it's um, RG1 and RG2 today. It's funny, the bunny actually requested to be with the dragon guy. It's nice when people are platonic friends like that. Yeah, uh, totally platonic friends. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe this dialogue is exactly the same too. So, uh, from the neutral run. So, yeah, I believe everything about this fight, uh, nothing should be too much different. I think a lot of the, I just remembered that this is your second playthrough stuff, it kind of stops after the Papyrus fight, to be honest. Yeah, you can't get white names for this too, which is kind of interesting because, well, I mean, there's no way to get past uh, these guys without uh, pacifying them. Unless you're do um, unless you actually attack one of them, which is weird. No, I I guess that isn't weird because it means that uh, you wouldn't be able to reach the credits if you if you didn't do a pacifist playthrough. So it makes sense. Oh, I forgot which one's which. too hot. <laughs> oh, 
I love the w oh, wobbly shots. It's so funny. Yeah. Honestly, I think they might have white names. I just, I just believe that you can't get white names in a normal playthrough. That lets you hit the credits. Because it's the same thing with, um... Uh, it's the same, same thing with, uh... Mad Dummy. If you... Uh, if you destroy the dummy at the beginning of the game... And then you attack him during the fight... Uh, and make his dummy fall apart... You get a white name for him. In the, in the credits. Which is kind of interesting. That there actually is a way to do that. Uh, do they not actually have any white names directly in the in the game data? That's pretty interesting. If that's the case. The credits cannot be reached without fulfilling their yellow description conditions. That is that is fair. <laughs> like, so more than likely they didn't even uh they didn't even put it in. Same thing with Muffet. You can buy the um uh the maxed money spider item to just immediately like vacate the the fight, but that would still. That would still give her a golden name. Yeah, I, I love the use your imagination to what what they're up to. Don't put me under your mind control. Wanna get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. Yeah, Muffet is the same way, because at that late into the game... You will have decided on upon whether or not you're doing a, um... A normal or a pacifist playthrough. Like, there's no way to come back for that. Uh. Oh man, let me uh, let me actually double check one second. That's where I remember it. Okay. So can um in the concept art for the two guards. Wait. Mm. Oh, there we go. Uh, there were unused sprites for um, guards three and four that I think the way that it's worded is that uh, is that they were supposed to be that's interesting uh I was trying to remember which enemy like also uses the stick but if that's the case I might as well just like not bring it back out uh there's game data for a Royal Guard 3 and 4, and I'm guessing what the idea was is that you were supposed to run into them on the third loop, as well with, like, 1 and 2. But, like, that's rather fascinating that I thought that, I thought you actually did fight 3 and 4, but I guess they're just, 
unused. They're just unused assets. Okay, I'm back. Another dark room. Don't worry, my hacking skills have got things covered. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton reporting live from MTT Mute News. Uh, interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Yeah. I kind of realized that using the stick gets you the white names uh, during the Greater Dog fight, and so I doubly made sure that I uh, that I got the golden name for Greater Dog by going through the whole the sequence, even though it was like already like merciable, just so I can make sure it happens. Uh, reporting live. Okay. Dog. Gift. Game. Uh, I think I did movie script last time, so let me do glass of water. Oh my, it's a completely uh, nondescript glass of water! But anything can make a great story with enough spin. Report this one. Attention, viewers! Our correspondent has found a glass of water! What astonishing about this glass of water is how uninteresting it is. Unlike all glasses of water, it's comprised of water, glass, nitroglycerin. Wait a second. That's not a glass of water. That's a bomb! Oh no, this news report. It's turning into a disaster report. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Oh my, it seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That dog's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb. Even my words are... Wave correspondent. Okay, see you later. Uh, if you don't defuse all the bombs, the big bomb will blow up in smithereen in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible, how disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Don't worry. I installed the bomb defusal program. What? Ah, I was a little bit off. Great job. Yeah, someone had to point out to me that uh, the glass of water sliding like that is a reference to Tapper, and I went, oh, I should have seen it. Well done! You've deactivated all the bombs! We already showed this cutscene last time. Ah, oh, it seems the bomb isn't going off. That's because... While you were monologuing, I... I fix, uh... I, I changed... Uh, oh no! You deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills! Yeah, that's what I did! Curse you for helping so much. Well, I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers. I really showed them, huh? Hey, I know 
I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more, more confident about guiding you. So don't worry about that big dumb robot. I'll just protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, we could just, uh, tar- Um, never mind. Later. Yeah, you totally kicked his butt on the news. I bet Alphys was helping you, wasn't she? Oh my god, you guys are becoming friends. It's kind of cute. I mean, uh... I'm tough, I love to eat rocks. The core? You're getting close, huh? What? No, we just became friends. We can't already be that close. Um, I noticed that you've been kind of quiet. What are you talking about? I've been talking uh, with people on the phone. Okay, okay, I got it. The L stands for the color lime. Really? I hate limes. What? Limes rule. I eat them whole all the time. Well, one time I was giving myself the spa treatment. I put li uh, the lime slices on my eyes like on TV, but it stings. How did they do it? Oh my god, those aren't limes, those are cucumbers. Maybe we need to think more abstractly. Maybe the L stands for love. But isn't love supposed to be fiery red? Like a cartoony human heart? But Undyne, don't you turn people's hearts green? Make it sound like I give people nausea. Well, it would be an affectionate nausea. Okay, yeah, so that's me. It might sound weird that spiders need donations. But think about it, they have eight feet. That's four pairs of shoes. A spider wearing four pairs of pink booties. Mediate on this image. <laughs> now I'm out of cash. Hi, Alphys here. Uh, this room is like the one we saw before. There are two puzzles, the north and south, and it's all them. Also, I'd just like to say I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions, but if you need my help, just call. Actually, I have an idea. Let's be friends on the internet. I already read this part. A whole room covered in vents. Oh no! Hey, did I ever tell you about my puzzle idea? It's a maze full of steam vents, but the steam vents are on conveyor belts and... Oh my god, I hate this. My favorite Metaton moment, TM, right when everything looks baddest, he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. But then he says, even if you suck at cooking, you could always buy an MTT Glam Burger. Then he eats one. Everyone loves it. How does he eat it without a mouth? Uh, well, uh, watch the show. My fave Metaton moment is when he beats up the heel-turning villains even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. Oh, and I like it when he tries all kind of different fashionable outfits, 
even if it's during what's supposed to be a newscast. Lasers on conveyors, are you serious? Hey, this reminds me of a puzzle idea. Oh my god, no, why? I thought you hated, hated making up puzzles. Yeah, but I love driving you crazy. Hey, uh, this, uh, doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but... Uh, hey! Would you want to watch a human TV show together sometime? It's called, uh, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Not really. Well, that's okay! Just thought I'd ask. I think you'd really like it, if you give it a chance. There we go. Stop to smell the flowers. I can't help myself but uh stop to smell the uh the cactus um the cactus flower. Uh, what is the cheesiest way I can word it? There's something deep in my soul that, uh, that feels the need to stop the smell of the cactus flower, and I don't know what it is. Signal is clogged with cobwebs. Okay, so... Probably I'll be able to get some reception afterwards. You know, I want to actually try something. Oh, wait. Gotta get the uh, spider cider. Um... Those. Get that back. Quiche. There we go. Okay. If I drink the spider cider now, does it auto skip? Nope. Let me just uh, quickly do this again. Okay, there we go. So, I, w I remember watching something where uh, someone was trying to break down the uh, the hidden figure that paid Muffet to stop us, because she would have um, she would have said that it was Metaton if it was Metaton, but Muffet specifically says I could see them smiling in um um sm I could see their smile. 
as they change shape in the background. That's not really Metaton's thing. And the whole the whole video was to talk about the fact that, unlike all the other people that try to take us out, Muffet was specifically hired by Flowey. <laughs> Which makes a lot of sense. Oh my gosh, if I could have got food. Uh, I forgot to grab the food. Okay. I like how this fast version of it is actually going slightly slower because of how many times I've had to uh, restart. Spider Cider. Huh? Where'd you get that? Did you steal it? Oh my pet, it's time to show them what we could what we do with thieves. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins. Yep. And we immediately just skip the fight that way. A poster for Metaton's show? That's neato, I want a poster for my puzzles. Oh, and I want a poster for all my big fights. A real event, we could have a live band. And a barbecue. And fireworks. And a second barbecue. Won't you just eat barbecue instead of fighting? Let's do it. I wonder if any of my fans uh, on my online fans are spiders. Do spiders even use the internet? Are you kidding? Well, spiders love to surf the web. Sans? You're right about something. Hey, Undyne! Do spiders have webbed feet? No, ducks have webbed feet. Spiders can spin webs. Oh, ducks can spin webs? Yeah, haven't you heard of a duck wrap? Um, duck wrap up a loaf of bread? Then they suck all the guts out with its fangs. Bread has guts? Yeah, they just take them all out before they sell it. Wow, you're really smart, Undyne. I thought he knew I was joking. Uh, to be honest, like, ever since I was a little kid, I've loved eating, uh, bread guts. Uh, it's my favorite part of the bread. It's to just, like, hollow it out and then eat all that and then just have the, uh, the rind of the bread bowl just sitting there as I slowly munch on it. Strange interference. Okay. Oh, that human. I'm starting to think that the strange interference is him... Uh, affecting our phone when we're in his presence. Could it be my one true love? You look bored, darling. I want this to be a stellar performance. So if you won't give it your all, then I'll skip ahead for the audience's sake. Perform? Oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, the show must go on. 
I'm so overwhelmed with tragedies. The king has ordered you to waste um, waste away in the castle basement. And before we even had time to uh, um, sing a sweet song about it, my dear heart, I can barely look upon you knowing what comes next. Well, toodles. Oh no, whatever shall I do, my love has been cast away into the dungeon. Now, if I remember correctly, someone actually did make a, uh... Someone actually did make a, uh... An actual guide to the, uh... Um, to the tile base. I'm gonna try to, um, I'm going to try to do it. Yeah, I already know, I already know what's going on. Better hurry, you only get 30 seconds. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I, w I was trying to get out of there, but it it stalled me because I forgot that I couldn't touch orange. I had to figure out how to go there. I, I, I had it up. I was looking at the maze. I just messed up. Oh no, how could this happen? That's right. And then we have to defeat a monster and it's you. Better answer it. Don't worry, there's one last thing I installed on your phone. See that yellow button? Go to the action menu and press it. Oh, that yellow glow. Ooh. Oh, you defeated me. How can the... How can this be? You were stronger than I thought. Um, hey, uh, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself that much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without... Uh, but... Yeah. It's basically the same dialogue. Regardless of if you, uh, thank her or not. Yeah, so I might as well show the, uh... The sequence. So what happens is that you start here, you go up, and then four, um, then over four tiles. And again, I got stuck right here because I went forward one extra than I needed to. But you're supposed to go down, over two, down again, go over a few until you hit um, a string of four blue that are up here. So you keep going until you hit those four blue. They're right there, I think? Maybe right there. I'm not entirely sure which one. You're supposed to go up and avoid the, uh... Oh, it's right here. Okay, so you're supposed to go up and around the, the two red that are right there. Go two, up one, hit the green, go over two, you go up like this. Because you have to hit the purple, because you were just on yellow. To hit the blue, so you go over two, you're now orange. Then it's 
purple. Oh wait, no. Clover, purple. Go up like that and then you, yeah, you do some stuff. You do some janky stuff to get to about here. One of the things you're supposed to do though is that you're is that when you're going over like about like here or so you're supposed to stop go all the way up so you can hit the yellow um because orange was like right here you go up you hit the yellow come all the way back down so you could go over the blue and you have a string of like uh string of stuff and then you go up and you go over and then you go through here and again like all of this is like green tile so even if you went through this entire thing somehow without hitting any of the green tiles which like you're forced to go over like five green tiles before you even get here this entire stretch right here is all green tiles and the furthest you'll get is about here like that's about it Wow, I saw it. The multicolor puzzle. Seems like you were able uh, seems like you weren't able to complete it. You've gotta be prepared next time. Have to explain it all again. See, red tiles are impassable, pink tiles don't do anything, green tiles are What? RG1 and 2 are slacking off. Come on, they should be um killing you right now. Not that I want them to, I mean but they could at least try, you know. I can't believe you got to dance with Metaton. Big deal. Earlier the human and I danced with Death. Wow. Is Death cool? Yeah, she's like super hot. Thanks. Thanks, Undyne. <laughs> Then there's Heat's Flames Man over here. What if R and L stand for right and left? No way, that makes no sense. Because if you face the opposite way, then they'd be wrong. Uh, oh my gosh. I think I have to enter the uh, the elevator at least once to activate it. Yeah. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. I'll be grabbing some dinner with me first. Yeah. Over here. So I believe this scene with Sans is exactly the same. Like, even if you, uh... Even if you did like I did and didn't even take damage. I'm rooting for you, kid. Let me tell you a story. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone out there really cares about you. Whoa, a fancy restaurant. Psh, who needs that when friends are great chefs? Well, maybe your cooking abilities aren't exactly perfect. Nah, they totally are. Eat up, punk. Your spaghetti thwap against the receiver. Thanks. Resort comedian, I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now my son, he wants to be comedian like his father, but his jokes aren't 
very funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Haha, -ha, that's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore, so he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. That's not funny. So I believe that text does not um, didn't change since last time. But I thought I might as well double check. Okay. A hotel? Cool. I've never stayed at a fancy hotel. Really? Me neither. Papyrus, we should go on vacation sometime. Yeah. Let's vacation to a hotel. Okay, dimensional box B. Okay, let's throw some stuff into here so we can grab CT, the cinnamon bun, and the hot dog. There we go. Hello, room service. Got my CT. You poured the CT under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want it. Here's a tip. You got 99G. Hello, room service. Got my cinnamon bun. You flatten the cinnamon bun until it's paper thin. You slide it under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want it. Here's a tip. Got 99G. You're shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Put. You put the hot dog in front of the door. A white paw shoots out under the door. Tries to pull the hot dog into his room. But it keeps pressing down too hard and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. You hear the grinding of stone. A single hush puppy slides out from under the door. You got hush puppy. There we go. I don't think I talked to you last time. Seems busy. Well, okay then. <laughs> that probably explains why I didn't talk to him last time. Yes, we know the elevator to see is not working because of the incident. Rooms are running at a special rate. 2G a room. Fabulous. I'll escort, uh, escort you to your room. It's a lamp and there's no light switch. Just as the stars make their own light. It's some sort of giant bottle of perfume. They're a rectangle. The cap is so comedically large you can't open it. Eh. We actually got our, uh, our 30G again. Okay. First things first. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk to them and clear off all of their uh, dialogue. Okay, bye. Empty gun. 
Cowboy hat. Mystery key. There we go. Box B. Put both of those items in there. We don't need it. Wait. Let's save first. Okay. So now we're going to go investigate with what that key is. So I didn't show this off last time. But the way that this works is that there's only really like two doors that is possible to unlock. Mr. Key Info, unique. It is too bent to fit on your keychain. Oh, wait, I don't want to go to Snowden. Beware of the man who came from the other world. Oh man. You know what I'm suddenly craving for? At like 3 in the morning? I am suddenly craving um, Popeye's popcorn shrimp. And the worst part is, is that now that I work so close to home, like, there's no reason to ever go that far out for Popeye's. <laughs> like, hmm, that's unfortunate. Okay, so the place that this key goes to, actually this door right here. Use the mystery key. The red house's door was unlocked. The key does appear. What? You broke in the Napstablick's cousin's house? That's... That's, hey, that, what was their name anyway? Haps the Blook, the happy ghost. Okay, that's definitely wrong. It's not wrong, it's just my head cannon. <laughs> Thanks, Papyrus. Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that... She, Blucky, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Dearer Diary. I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I'd love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary. Our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blucky and I. Blucky asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal, too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blucky. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body that I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary. I met someone interesting today. Last week, I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today is our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. She's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. 
I have like five now. Dear Diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way that I could be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blucky, my dreams can't wait for anyone. Yeah, so... So it's clearly obvious, like, who, uh, for lack of a better turn, uh, for lack of a better phrase, uh, who Haps the Blick, uh, became as a character. It is actually kind of, it is kind of cool. I hate Flash. Uh, the angel is coming. Unironically, I think that one is the most concerning, uh, <laughs> the most concerning one that the river person can say. Because all the other ones are just, like, vague, but that one almost seems like a threat. <laughs> yeah, so the previous stream went for about, like, four hours because we ended up, uh... Because we ended up taking a long time. This one's taking four hours because I actually want to get stuff done. <laughs> Okay, just double checking. Uh, we threw the empty gun and cowboy hat into the uh, into the box because we don't need increased damage. Like not really. Uh, we ended up getting. I just realized it's spelled correctly on the stat screen. We got this um this set of armor that basically maxes out our stats, which is pretty great. Welcome to the Emporium. Sparkle up your day, TM. Uh... Now I have to go through all the talk dialogue with him again. Because it would be awkward for us to, uh... Ignore the, uh, 17... Uh, the, uh, 19 year old that has wasted his whole life. Girls laugh at me and call me Barker Pants now. I feel bad for this guy. Future. There we go. Anytime, little buddy. Okay, so we're going to hold on to the Glam Burgers. Uh, we're actually going to put them into Dimensional Box B. And hold off on using those until we've... Uh, until we're right in front of the boss. Oh, the game uh, glitched out and didn't show this part last time, so we might as well uh, show it off now. Huh? Where are they? No one else is supposed to be here. Oh, well, I can't worry about that now. By glitched out, I mean that the, uh, the video corrupted. So, on the bright side, we can, um, show this part off. Ready? Uh, this is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. What? The elevator should be working. Well, then, just go to the right and keep heading up. Not that one. Heading into the core, hmm? The core is a huge tower of electric energy, so I don't think your phone will work through it. Oh no! What will you do without us? You do have something... You have something you have to do, right? Well... 
even without words, we'll be with you in spirit, okay? Yeah, you can't get rid of us. We're counting on you, so don't mess it up. There's no response. Yeah. Alright, now just keep heading up. Uh, that pit isn't on my map. Forget it, let's try the left side. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Watch out! I like how two enemies attack us, but it's just one magic. Uh, we've already figured out how to take this guy out before, but let me just double check. No, that's still the one for uh, the, the guards. Yeah, so we could use the stick to distract him, or talk. Magic interrupts you by chattering to itself. If gibberish dizzies you, your defense drops by one. Abracadabra. Whoa, what the... You feel confused. That was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it, it's no problem, right? Uh, we just gotta get through heading forward. That's interesting. I, I didn't know that talking to him um, makes it so you could do it in one turn. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch, but those lasers will activate when you do. Um, it looks like they will come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. We already know from last time that all the stuff that she gives to us will be backwards. Oh my god, are you okay? I I'm sorry, I give you the wrong order. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, let's just keep heading to the right. A crossroads, huh? Uh... T try heading to the right? Wait, no, I think you should head up. There we go, there's the night night. Um, sing three times, twice if Siren's song has been learned by humming repeatedly. Un um, until she falls asleep. You sing Shiren's song, Night Night looks sleepy. Earn 70 gold. Sorry, I, uh, I thought that... Let's try the right path instead. More lasers? Okay, uh... I'll deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're... They're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I... It's okay. I have this under control. Uh... I'll turn off the power, then you can walk across. Okay, go. Oh, wait, stop! The, the power is turning itself back on. Damn it, this isn't what I was supposed to... I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little, then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. See? I got everything under control. Everything's under control. Okay, you should, um... I don't know? Uh, this doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I... I have to go. So I recently found out that, uh... Hmm... I lost 
my train of thought. There we go. Oh, I recently found out that you die after you do the puzzle. Uh, this counts as a save point. Lamberger inside. I like how the core music is, um, is a remix of, um, Death by Glamour. It's actually really great. Okay, Wimselot and Final Froggit. Um, Wimselot. Oh gosh! Pray. Here we got both. Skip, jump. Uh, then mystify. Thoughtful croak. Eat the astronaut food to max out. E. Hello. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna take out Night Night first. Uh, what? Hawk. Spare both. Okay. with you. I'm so lot. We're gonna pray. There we go. Okay. We're gonna check him. This relentless bully always gets its way. Uh-oh. Wasn't paying attention to what it said earlier. You don't pick on astigmatism. What are you so afraid of? Okay, we have to go through one more phase just so we can pick on him. That's right. so we don't have to, uh... Your G! Okay. Another stigmatism. Don't pick on me. 
Okay. Finally, someone gets it. Okay, dimensional box B. Gonna go grab both of the glam burgers. We're gonna throw the uh, non metaton items into the box. Gonna buy the steak in the shape of metaton's face. And then two more glam burgers. That way we could get the most product placement out of, uh, out of fighting Metaton. Seems like you could skip Metaton's monologue by turning him around now. Clever. Metaton EX makes his premiere. Boast, you say you aren't going to get hurt at all. Ratings will gradually increase. I'm gonna just keep boasting and then heal when we get hit. Have fun with that on-screen keyboard. This one's an essay question. What do you like most about Mattaton? Um, that's right. Legs was the correct answer. Okay, that's a really showed everyone's heart. I want to show you mine. Face steak. 700 for on brand food. The audience goes nuts. The HP was maxed out. But how are you on the dance floor? Oh, dang it! Funny numbers. Um, Terran so gonna get a heart hurt at all. Post. Woo! There we go. The glam burger to boost the ratings for a union regulated break.
Hey, boast? You're going so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? Arms? Who needs arms with legs like these? Lamburger. Lamburger. Lights, camera, enough of this. So we actually hit the ratings map a lot earlier than I thought I was going to. Inspiring. Well, darling, it's either you or me, but I think we both know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. Reach the viewer uh, callstone mile. The call-in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. We have to see on this our last show. Oh, I'm out of time. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but. See you on the screen brought excitement to my life, vicariously. I, I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Yeah. So, with the context... Ow. I felt something in my pack... In my, uh, lower back pop. Ow. Um... With the knowledge... Uh, with the knowledge that uh, um, Napstablick, who is clearly the person who's calling in, is Metaton's cousin that is basically sad that they're going without even knowing who they are. And liked who they are after they had, uh, for lack of a better term, transi transitioned to a body which they can be proud of. Like, it, it's really... It's actually really great that it's Napstablick that is the one that, like, calls in. Because it really does show that, like, even after all this time, like... I just love this game so much. Like, like little tiny things like that go over people's heads if they aren't paying attention, and it's great. I... I see. Evelyn, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters? They only have me. If I left the underground... If I left the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So I think I will delay my big debut. Besides... You've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Haha. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. 
truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And to everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Yeah, so not much of this has changed from uh from the first loop. So Thank god it's just the batteries. Uh Metaton, if you were gone, I would have uh I would have uh I mean hey, it's it's no problem. Yeah. Oh, we only have just a little bit more to go, and then I'm gonna stop for for the night. Sorry about that. So, you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be pretty excited. You'll, you'll finally you'll be finally able to go home. Wait. I mean, um, I... I'm just going to, um, say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. And then all the stuff. If you want to go home, you'll have to take a soul. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I decided to split the VOD there because uh, I streamed for about like seven hours and we're going to need to trim down some of the ending parts a little bit where we're just walking around with like, uh, which is no audio for a bit. So I'm going to try to like edit all that down. So next one, we're going to continue this. Uh, I wish I had actually like change the border now that I really think about it but oh well now so, uh yeah oh well <laughs>